so let's take a look at how you can create apex class in salesforce developer console so what we're going to do is log into salesforce developer account and on right hand side at top you will see this icon engine like icon click on that then choose developer console this should open new window let it load so basically it look, looks like a text editor or something that's the developer console where we work with our components classes and application so click on file then new and then choose apex class then here we have to name our apex class so let's see i want to name this my devnami click ok now as you can see by default it creates this public class which we can extend with our code okay for example let's say if i create constructor for this with some return value let's see if i type in system dot debug and passed it hello devnami okay and simply instantiate wait let's see my devnami object then new my devnami sorry it's the camera case issue again i tend to get into this habit of writing so when i create new instance of my class it should call this constructor okay we can test this out simply we can go open debug then open execute anonymous simply going to replace the code here with this then we are going to execute this okay here it says okay so i've got this typo issue now if i say execute it should load the log okay notice that when you do it from debug the that code and the code one we have in file could be different okay still the log will be generated and the output can be visible in user debug okay so here you find this user debug and if you zoom in you will find this hello devnami output okay here we can replace this constructor as well and we can run and debug this as well if we save this with control s it will be auto saved and compiled right and keeping that aside i just showed you how to check your output of your apex class with this user debug event and its output visible on the right